Hello and welcome back to another episode of the 2020 Podcast, Canada's number one optometry podcast. I am your host, Dr. Harbir Sayan. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me as always. Appreciate all the support. And as always, right off the top, if you could, please share this with a friend and make sure that everybody knows we're having this conversation today. Send a link, post a, a snapshot on Instagram, put it on LinkedIn, uh, wherever you wherever you spend your time and your friends are at, please share this with them. Because today, this episode is a special episode uh, that we are, are sharing here today in between our regularly scheduled episodes. And I have two amazing guests, one returning guest, of course, we all know Mr. Nico Roselier. And uh, we also have the lovely, lovely Rebecca Giefer from Modo Eyewear. So Nico, uh, as we know, if you've been listening to the podcast, is uh, a creative entrepreneur. He is the founder of the Untitled Agency. He's also the director and creator of the Now Exhibit and the Now Awards at Vision Expo East, which is definitely something we're going to spend some time talking about. And Rebecca is the CEO of Modo Eyewear of the Americas. And so she's here to talk to us about Moto and all the amazing designs and brands that they carry and why the Now exhibit is so important from a designer perspective. So I'm really excited about this conversation. Um, and I'm going to say this, Nico's going to say this a bunch of times. If you are a des designer or if you know somebody who's a designer, get your designs in to the Now Awards and exhibit. The timeline is very short. There's only a little bit. Of, there's only a few days left. So if you know somebody, text them right now and let them know. Uh, I want to get that out there out off the top, just in case we don't say enough times in the conversation. But Nico and Rebecca, thank you so much for joining me here on the podcast. Appreciate having you both. Thanks. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Pleasure to be here. So Nico, let's start with you. Um, last time we were on, we were sharing a, a whiskey. You had given me a recipe for a, an old fashioned or something, right? That was good. That was good. Now, and we don't have one of those in hand, but I'm sure this will still be fun. Uh, it's, it's let's good. talk. Yeah. It is coffee. Sorry. Yeah, I was gonna say I got my coffee. I got my coffee. It'll be a it'll be a coffee conversation here. Rebecca's got hers too. Um, Nico, let's talk about now. Let's talk about the exhibit. You created this. It's incredible. You started this whole thing um, at Vision Expo. Tell me how it came about and what is the purpose. Um, so you know, I've been attending the show for a really long time, and uh, I always thought that it was a void in uh, on our show in the US to representing the industry and representing what the trends are and then what's happening, you know. And so uh, it's been years that uh, being uh, working with uh, the Vision Council and Vision Expo. And uh, a few years ago, they allowed me to to, to start the project. Uh, it's, it's been a great, uh, great development, very way faster, actually, than I thought it was going to be in terms of the uh, reaction of the visitors, but also the reaction of the exhibitors. Um, now it's created to show the industry to what we're coming to the show for, right? And to want to see, obviously, all our friends and, and see what the latest and greatest, um, what's going to help the practice, what's going to help, you know, whatever we do in the industry. But it was no place to really see all of that. So the idea is really to display all the product uh, through a theme that are developed every year with uh, a great committee, which, by the way, Harvey, are you in it this year? So thank you so much for taking <laughs> Forgot to mention that, yes. be in that great committee because it is very important. It's, you know, and it has to be seen in a lot of different perspective and different points of our industry. So uh, you bring, obviously, a, a vital point of view when it comes to the committee this year. So I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, but also was the idea of deep playing all the product in a very democratic way. It is not about the size of your company. It is not about the brand. It's not about, um, you, it's really about the frame, the creation, the design, the storytelling or what designers and brands and companies have put behind it. And, you know, our job is to do the best to represent that. Last year, we started, um, so last year was the second year, and we started the uh, the Now Awards. Um, and actually, you can see the prototype are done right here on my shelf. Um, oh, but that's the trophy. It, I got you. Nice. That's right here. Um, Not right there. But <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it, we started last year, and it was a huge success. Um, with way, I mean, I was I was blown away to be honest by uh, by a the amount of submission, but also by the attendance of uh, at the ceremony. So. 
I'm super excited for this year. I hope we're going to be the record. The first year I got 120 something frames submitted. Last year I got 240 frames submitted. I'm hoping wow. we're going to do this this year. So yeah, as you say, deadline is this week, end of this week. Uh, there's a lot of stuff coming in and my office starting to look like a post office, which I love <laughs> this time of the year. That means things are working. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's really about, uh, about really make all the company shine, you know, show all your latest and greatest things that you're proud of, you know, what's uh, the new babies in each companies. And, and I think, you know, as a designer myself, it's, it's really a, a great time to, you know, to really see people's reaction to what, what you've been working a full year on to finally being able to show that. So, um, yeah. yeah, so that, that, that's kind of the thing. That's amazing. Well, I, well, I want to say thank you for inviting me to be on the the committee. By the way, yeah, I should have mentioned that I'm also involved in this whole process, but uh, I feel like a very, very small piece considering how much more is going on. But I, I'm I'm really grateful to be part of it. Uh, it's been already, you know, uh, there's only uh, only a little bit that I've been involved in so far, but it's already been a pretty eye opening experience where I get to see how many different designers there are out there, um, you know, and all the different types of products and and designs they're creating, even. Uh, you know, last year when I was at the pavilion and looking at it, I was like, wow, I had literally no idea that a big chunk of these brands even existed and the designs existed. Mm -hmm. So it's just allowing companies to to showcase something um, in a way that never has been allowed. Uh, they've never been allowed to do before. You know, normally they have a booth that's somewhere over there that you might not ever walk past. And now you can see all these hundreds of frames in, in this really well displayed area and say, wow, I love that. Now I want to learn more about that. Let me go over to where that booth is. You know, I think it's a really great, uh, great way to display it. And, and the awards, I mean, everybody loves awards. We all love award shows. We all watch the Emmys and the, the Grammys and the whatevers, right? Um, we all love that. We all love to celebrate people who've worked hard and, and achieved a goal. So that's awesome. I think that's really great. Um, so how about Rebecca, from your perspective, maybe before we dive into, into Moto and the brands, I'd love to hear from your perspective, why you think the awards and the uh, now exhibit is important from a designer side? Well, yes, thank you for having me. I appreciate uh, contributing to this conversation. I just want to say, uh, Nico, evolving it to an award show is perfect. And I did see that proto and I did have a little bit of an increased interest. I was like, ooh, an award. Mm -hmm. So that Absolutely. was a nice evolution and everyone wants to take home a trophy. Um, yeah. But I think it's amazing to have the democratic uh, representation of the designs. There have been other ways where product gets in front of passerbys or highlighted throughout our various events in the industry. What's unique about now is kind of this very, it's, it's really focused on the, the design. And I think, mm -hmm. Um, designers that don't have the bandwidth or capacity to have an enormous booth don't get as highlighted. Sometimes, you know, featuring your product gets expensive. You know, you pay to play. Mm -hmm. This is a space where I think a lot more designers, independent ones specifically, can put their product out there. I also think now is really the celebration of our of our eyewear. And I think that was missing. That spirit, that celebration factor was missing in the show. And sometimes we salivate when we go to other trade shows and we see a lot of energy and there's a lot of pride on the design. At our trade shows, you know, a lot of times it was around the booth or about this corporate experience. And this now experience is a bit unique. It really gives the brands a chance to kind of exude their best yeah, I think that's I think that's wonderful. That's really great. And like you said, that I think that word democratic is so important um, because that's definitely the sense that I've gotten over the years attending, especially some of the bigger, um, not even the bigger, just any any exhibit or, or trade show that I would attend in the optical industry. You know, there's a handful of dominant brands. They the amount of floor space they own kind of dominates your perception of what's happening there too. And to be able to go somewhere and just be like to see like little independence. Um, who are creating really cool stuff. Uh, I think it's a great, a great idea. Um, so why don't we, of course, Moto is going to be showcasing some stuff, but not just from one brand, from multiple brands. So I'd love to hear, Rebecca, uh, you know, a little bit about each of these brands so we can highlight them as well and people know what to look for when they go there. Yeah, so we have four favorite babies this season um, in terms of new babies to bring to the scene. 
Um, Modo is a brand that we consider our 100 year plan. It's a brand embedded in innovation, technology, patents. But we bring a collection to the market called the Moto Legacy Collection, and it takes our 1990s single wire and it upgrades the componentry. So there's a few, um, I'd say, elevated features and components to it from uh, the 1990s experience. Hmm. Um, the Eco brand is uh, the pioneer of sustainability for our industry. We're so proud that we brought it to the market in 2008, but today in, at Expo, I guess I should say in March, we're gonna be featuring a new construction with some bio-based materials, new clips, um, and then a new category called EcoSport. So we're doing a brand extension there. Uh, when I think of some higher end design that I'm very excited to submit in the Now um, platform, it's our lowercase brand that we purchased in March of 2023. And this is a luxury product that's made 100% in the US um, and really has a sartorial feeling. High-end luxury components, of course, from the German manufacturers, the right material uh, partners, but just the detailing, whether it's the foil printing in the inside temple to the, the finishing details um, from the end piece all the way to the temple tip. So that's lowercase. Our fourth favorite baby, is not last but not least, uh, is called Italian Independent. Um, Italian Independent is having a resurgence. We purchased this brand at the end of last year and we're bringing it to the market with some classic uh, shapes. You'll see a round keyhole. We had to do that, it's an Italian brand, but we have neon colors. We have velvet covered frames. We have denim covered frames. Velvet and covered. We're, wow. we're gonna bring something unexpected. It's the perfect product to, put on a now shelf that's what i think i love that yeah absolutely yeah. that definitely sounds like something that would catch my attention as i'm walking by for sure can't wait to that's see awesome. those yeah usps should be delivering soon for you nico <laughs> <laughs> yeah put something up on instagram when you do get those i'd love to get a little sneak peek on what that looks like um, uh, not related so to the now uh not related to the now but there is also another thing that moto is celebrating at this show uh but Rebecca is way too modest to talk about it. But Rebecca will be honored by the Play It Awards uh, by the uh, Women uh, Optical Women Association. Oh, yeah. This uh, oh. this show, so this is a huge deal. She won't talk about it, but uh, for Incredible. all the great work and leadership uh, in this industry over. Uh, I'm not going to give that many years, but for, for <laughs> it's been a little while. Years. <laughs> I started um, at a very young age. <laughs> very, 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 very young. She's on five, and uh, so yeah, no, it, it's it's a big honor, and you know, it's so so well deserved for all the work you've done. That's so. incredible. Well, congratulations, yeah. Rebecca. That's incredible. I well, I, well, I'm, and and well deserved from what I've learned so far. Very, really amazing. Good job. Thank you, thank you, guys. It's going to be a big, <laughs> uh, big, big uh, weekend there. Yes. Oh, yeah. The, a, lot the most, yeah. a lot of parties. Talking it. about parties, uh, two things I needed to add. One is the um, when we talk about representation and uh, you know on the you know across the, the industry uh, that the every company that submit every single company will at least be represented. Uh, through the thing. So meaning the, the screening panels, the uh, selection, whatever you want to call it, get um, everybody that sent, every company that sent product is represented at the, the now. So it's very important yeah. to, to know that it is not like, oh, I sent a friend, may not make it. Um, you know, every companies are represented. So that I think it's very important. And then the second thing talking about parties is, the award ceremony will be on the first day of the show at the bridge at 4.30. Um, so, you know, of course, everybody's invited. There will be a champagne uh, toast after that. Um, and that's where we're giving all the awards and some new awards coming as well this season. Um, so that's going to be interesting. Yes, cool. yes, yes, yes. There's a good good list of it's Yeah, good selection of awards. Um and I think it's it's a good way to represent different parts of the industry as well in that sense um, with the awards. So that's that's really great. Uh, so it's only what what were we saying? There's only like six weeks till Vision Expo East. It's not a long time. It's exciting and a little nerve wracking because I think we all got work to do in our own respect before 
before the uh, before the uh, exhibit comes around. Uh, what else do we want to say to to whoever is listening and watching here, uh, as far as like to get them excited about this, to to make sure you know whether you're, uh, you know, just somebody who's interested in in eyewear and you happen to be attending Vision Expo, or if you are potentially an exhibitor or designer who's going to be submitting designs. Well, I think, you know, it's this this is the time of the year, right? So this uh, you go to the show, you, you you know, not obviously to make sales, right? I mean, you know, we we'll, we we'll all need to eat and, and pay the bills. But I think, you know, this is the part where you really want to shine and show off and, and, and show all the new things you have. And so participating in this, just like Rebecca say, you know, it's it's very important. And, you know, and, you know, really inviting everybody to come and check out those new uh, Italian dependent yeah. friends because I'm for sure excited to see those uh so you know so that's that's the thing come and check everyone what people are doing what's the new stuff the new us and latest and and uh and have fun with it you know? and I'll Re remind us again sorry oh, sorry oh. sorry go ahead rebecca i'll just say one last thing it's the last time the expo's at new york so also like right. let's end this show with a little bit of a bang right yeah you're right right i forgot that's right good point Last time, for well, for now, anyways, that we know for the foreseeable future that Vision Expo is going to be, Vision Expo East is going to be in New York, which is such an iconic location to have it, of course. But uh, things being as they are, they're going to be moving to Orlando starting next year. So what better way to really celebrate than to go to New York for this final Vision Expo out there on the East Coast? So, uh, you know, if you're watching or listening, make sure you join us out there. If you're coming out there, give us a you know call, message us on Instagram or LinkedIn or wherever, and let us know you're coming and that you want to be there at the now exhibit and the, the awards show. Um, and when you are there, make sure you're sharing that too. Please post that up that you're you're checking out these amazing designs at the now exhibit, at that you're at the awards show, and look how many people are here having sipping champagne with you to celebrate. And definitely look uh, look for me. I want to be in all of your <laughs> your your Instagram stories. Um, Let's one more time, Nico, before we wrap up, remind everybody where where is the now exhibit happening? So when they're at Expo, where do they go for this? And when and where is the award show happening again, please? So the pavilion is still moving around. So, you know, we're, we're doing final prep on that. Uh, oh, okay. But it is on the show floor. It is on the show floor. It's attached to a lounge also area. We will have a DJ there. So it's a cool place to also hang out. Nice. Do yeah. some meetings, you know, if you need to, if you want to step out or whatever. Uh, and then Friday, 4.30 at the bridge, which is the middle of the show. That's where the ceremony will be. Um, cool. But yeah, like Rebecca said, this this is our last one in New York. All the themes this year are really targeted and and move into the New York, New York fashion and, and all of that, that that represent the show for the last four years. Until we move to uh, the sun for next 2025, which yeah. uh, we'll all be able to use those sunglasses outside that we designed. <laughs> then we'll just have, yeah, we'll have an outdoor sun eyewear, sun sunwear, sunglasses. Why not? Fashion show. Or yeah. Why not? I, I don't mind catching a little sun in the springtime. I don't mind that. Me uh, Awesome. Well, thank you very much. So thanks again for everybody who's listening and watching. This was a little special edition here of the 2020 podcast, Canada's number one optometry podcast. There's going to be a couple more of these. I want We're going to try to highlight a few designers as we lead up to Vision Expo East before we get to the, the pavilion and the award show. We want uh, our audience to kind of see some of the brands that are out there that you can look forward to seeing when you go to New York. So keep an eye out for these little special episodes that are going to come out in between our regularly scheduled episodes. And, uh, you know, again, make sure you share this with your friends. Let them know that this uh, event is happening, that this award, these awards are happening. And I will see you guys all in the next episode. Thank you very much.